Hi, Matt McAleer, November 22nd, just after the close. Nice week this week. Coming off new highs last Friday, we ground to down, oh, quarter, half a percent between the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ. Remember, when you make new highs and momentum readings get stretched, the market will tend to correct either through price, a drop, or time, which is a grind. The market's grinding right now really tailor-made for longs or bulls that want more and to the upside. You can't just keep going up. You have to consolidate gains, even if it's a short period. Last week, John Mousseau was on talking a little bit about our quant indicator. I wanted to cover that in a couple of minutes just to show how that affects four of our equity strategies. Our quant indicator was developed by Dr. Leo Chen, mathematician, who is our quant strategist here at Cumberland with David Kotak, uh, dating back almost five years ago now. We ran it as a test indicator on capital for a couple of years before introducing, uh, our, introducing our quant strategy driven by that indicator four years ago, just about four years ago. John mentioned last week we had an exit from our quant indicator. So I want to go over what is a buy signal, what is a sell or exit signal. A buy signal in our quant indicator has the following effect on four of our portfolio. In our straight market volatility strategy, when we get a buy, last buy was August 27th, we're 100% long in the S&P 500. We are also 100% long in our leveraged market vol. We take that signal, leverage the S&P to a 3x number, and we're 100% long. When we get a buy signal in our sector alpha strategy, we want to be long beta. We want to be long the three most aggressive sectors we can be in. So August 27th, we got long technology, we got long consumer discretionary, and we got long industrial. Solid move, 9% move through last Friday when our exit was timed. Let me, before I get to that, let me go to our fourth strategy that has a, a, a quant uh, uh, piece to it. And that's our U.S. ETF strategy, our U.S. equity strategy. When we get a buy signal from our quant work, we're going to get long the S&P, 10% of the portfolio, and long those three high beta sectors that I just mentioned. Back on August 27th, those three were the high beta sectors. What were they? Tech, industrials, consumer discretionary. That becomes part of our U.S. equity strategy. Solid returns from August 27th through last Friday. So last Friday, we get an exit signal. Now our exit signal in this case was made up of hitting a rolling target, 31.15 on the S&P 500. It's a target that the quant work that we use, and Leo has, has put in, uh, wonderful time on, gave us that number going back uh, two, three months ago. When we get that exit signal, let's go over what happens to the four sector, our four strategies. Market volatility, sell, go to cash. We sold the S&P, went to cash. Cash can be treasury bills. Cash can be a high-yielding money market. Leverage market vol, as represented by UPRO, a 3x S&P 500. We sell, go to cash. Sector alpha. Remember, when we're on a buy signal, we want beta. We want aggressiveness. When we get that complacency or exit uh, signal, whether it's price or complacency, in this case price, we want to get a little bit defensive. We sell our three high beta aggressive sectors and go to three lower beta more defensive sectors. What are we in now in sector alpha? Staples, utilities, and REITs. So think of that as a sector rotation strategy that leans on a quant indicator. And then in our US ETF portfolio, when we get that exit signal, we take the 10% S&P off and rotate our three aggressive sectors into a more defensive posture. Just trying to dampen volatility trying to respect risk, really trying to see if we might get a better entry into the market. 
So I hope that's helpful on what that quant indicator does in our overall picture from an analysis and research uh, piece. Everyone have a great Thanksgiving. We'll be back on Friday with another video. Matt McAleer, Cumberland Advisors.